Yo, what is up, squad? It's your boy, Pino E here. Happy Monday, and congratulations to Philadelphia and all the Eagles fans out there. Not a whole lot to share today, but as always, hit the like button, and let's go. Let's start today off with Adidas and take a look at the official images of the Pharrell Adidas NMD HU Trail Holly Pink Glow. This pair is part of the larger Holly Pack, which is inspired by the Holly Festival, a celebration of color and love observed in India. This pair comes in a pink glow, flash green, and lab purple colorway featuring a powder dye upper, marbled EVA inserts, and a black trail rubber outsole. The pair drops on March 2nd on adidas.com and at select retailers for $250. And next up and last up for Adidas, we have the Adidas Futurecraft 4D, which will be dropping exclusively at the Adidas flagship retail store in New York City. Customers in the New York City area interested in reserving a pair of Adidas Futurecraft 4D will need to download the Adidas app and sign up to participate in the drop between February 5th and February 7th, 12 p.m. Eastern. Reservations will be confirmed on a first come, first serve basis once the reservations window open later this week. Much like the Adidas confirmed app, the Adidas app will provide push notifications alerting users when the reservation window has officially opened. So New York, there you have it. Download the app and good luck. The pair will be available to winners on February 10th for $300. Over to Nike, and let's start with the Nike Sportswear Lucky Charms Collection. The pack consists of the Nike Air More Uptempo, the Nike Hirachi Extreme, and the all-new Nike Air Max 270. All three models come dressed in burgundy pink and yellow tones with the Nike swoosh logo on the insole that includes graphic detailing on the swoosh. This pack will release only in grade school sizing, and although there's no date just yet, look for them to drop sometime this coming fall. Next up, we got the LeBron 15 and a first look at the model dressed in its all-star colorway, and I think these are dope. The pair comes dressed in a rust pink, metallic gold, and black colorway, and so far, all the all-star pairs have been inspired by cities within the LA area, and the inspiration behind these is believed to be Hollywood. So make sure you stay tuned for more looks coming soon. February 15th is the date for this pair, and $185 is the price. And last up for Nike, we got a classic. It's just one of those pairs that you can't get enough of, and if you weren't lucky enough to pick up a pair in I believe it was 2015 then you're in luck because the Nike Air Max 95 OG Neon is releasing again this year as part of the Nike Air Max month celebration. The pair comes in its OG black volt medium ash and dark pewter colorway and they drop March 2nd for $160. Over to Jordan Brand, and if you haven't figured it out yet, these guys really aren't playing any games this month. One pair that hit us by surprise is the shoe you see scrolling across your screen, the Air Jordan 3 JTH, with JTH standing for Justin Timberlake, Tinker Hatfield. If you're lucky enough, then just shortly after halftime of the Super Bowl, you are able to pick up one of the 520 pairs off the sneakers app, but like most people, you probably caught an L. But I'm here to tell you a little good news. First off, if you're in LA during All-Star Weekend, and keep your eyes peeled. Another 100 pairs are expected to be available sometime during the weekend at the Jordan brand pop-up. Also, additional pairs will be made available throughout Justin Timberlake's tour. There's no word on which cities they'll be available in, but you could expect them to be accessible through the Sneakers app geolocation. So in order to buy them, you have to find the stash spot and hope you get there quick enough. So your chances are slim, but you still have a chance. So keep your eyes peeled and good luck. And last up, I want to talk about Drake and some noise that I've heard. If you watched my video on Friday, you might have heard me throw in a comment about Tinker working on a Drake OVO silhouette. I heard about that a while ago, but I tossed it in on Friday and the timing was great, I guess. So what I'm going to tell you, there's no proof. There's no way I can validate what I'm sharing with you all because the person who confirmed this for me can't be named. But anyway, on Saturday, I got a message and the message was that Drake was leaving Jordan Brand. I didn't believe it, but whatever, it was a message. And later that day, I was trying to get a little more info on what was happening with the Tinker OVO silhouette and was told who knows what's going to happen with that shoe because the relationship between Drake and Jordan Brand is strained. So the interesting thing here is that these two people are in no way connected. It's two sources telling me a different but a similar story and that's that Drake isn't happy. Can't say I really blame him either. If you think about it, he's been with Jordan Brand for a few years and he's had a black 10 and a white 10, a black 12 and a white 12, and he's got a black 8 and a white 8 on the way. As a creative, his shoes, 
Although they're dope, they've been boring. The color blocking is played out. He's had some dope PEs given to him, but those haven't been able to release. Now, I've got no idea if he's unhappy because of money or because he doesn't get to be creative. But if being creative is the issue, I completely see where he's coming from. So that's what I know and that's what I heard. Time will tell what happens here, but what do you guys all think? Should Drake stay with Jordan Brand or pack it up and head on over to Adidas with his buddy Kanye? Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. And that does it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you've got something to say, leave it in the comments below. And